All right, so um, I had this set working once, and what happened is it ran for about a day, and uh, started getting some kind of uh, brown lines just across the bottom half of the picture. And what happened is I lost my uh, Y main board. Um, and I've narrowed it down to some parts that are that are bad. Um, primarily these diodes uh, that were up here at the top. I think it's like uh, these Zener diodes. Z, D, 50, 16, 50, 17, Z, D, 50, 23, and 50, 24. And um, I had a hard time tracking down what they were, but it's actually a, um, it's a RLZ um, 33B is the, the actual diode type and uh, so I was able to cross reference to an NTE part number it's really a basically a 30 uh, 30 volt zener at half a watt or 500 milliwatts and it's NTE is the manufacturer NTE 3055A now that's not a surface mount part but uh, I'm not really <laughs> concerned about how it gets mounted on the board I just want to get this thing put back together and run it again. This is tore up all over my family room right now. But anyhow, what I'm doing is I'll take the um, I'll take basically take the axial lead um, zener, the one that comes in the package. This is what it looks like. Um, give me one here. comes in a pack like this NTE 5035A and so I'm just taking the uh, leads and bending them straight down and then I kind of bend them in I don't know if you can see this very good gotta get me a I've gotta get me a, a high definition camera so I'm bending the leads the tip of the leads into each other so it'll just sit right on the surface mount pad you got to make sure you get the anode, anode and cathode, the mark, the mark line on the end of the diode is the uh, cathode, and that goes to the mark, the, the wide mark on the circuit board. So I'm going to put this all back together, and I'm going to check. There's a couple of MOSFETs on here too. I want to check these, make sure they're not shorted. And then I'm going to button it all back up and put it back in the set and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we have uh, the board back together now. And we had to replace these uh, Zener diodes up here on this, as I said just early in the earlier video. So I replaced those. Um, and basically I checked, I pulled the uh, MOSFETs out here, one of them tested it, it was fine. And I checked the other ones in circuit, they seem to be okay. So now we got to go ahead and put this board back in to the panel frame. And it's quite a bear because you got to pull the uh, brace off uh, the left side. It goes from here to here. You got to pull this brace off to get to the board. So, and you got to pull this tray, um, this tray off. It has the tuner and everything in it. That has to come off too. So, now we got to put the uh, board back in up here. Uh, we got to attach the buffer boards to it and put the whole assembly back in, and then button it all up so we can try it out. It should be the next step all right okay so then once we get the board the uh, uh, Y main board and the buffer boards back in we have to go ahead and put the uh, cross member piece back on and you put these two um, plastic mounts back on 
and then screw those in and then the cross member goes on that and then you can mount the tuner board after that's the main uh, processor tuner board can go back on all right okay so we got our board back in and we're going to give it a test to see what happens cross our fingers we already said a prayer so see what happens Way we got the Dell picture. All right, looks like it's gonna work. Cool. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna go ahead and set, double check my voltages again. I might drop them down a little bit, but all it's telling us now is we don't have an input. So basically, we had the bad Zener diodes. There was four of them that were shorted. We replaced it with a 30 volt Zener, rated at a half a watt or 500 milliwatts. And the part number I used was an NTE5035A. It's about a dollar 50 cents a piece for four of them. And that did the trick. It's not, this isn't a surface mount part, but you know, you can, you can tack them in there to where it, uh, it works just fine. And no problem so we're back in business all right so that was it we had the bad capacitors in the power supply we replaced three of those and then these zener diodes was the next problem now we're back in shape so i think i'm going to put a fan on the back of this set because these things run kind of hot everybody says it would be probably extending the life a little bit if you had a, just a small computer fan on the back uh, where the heat vents are. So that's it for the Dell W5001 CHD. We got it running. Okie doke. Thanks.